guys hope you're well same process as ever with max on either side just bear in mind that it's a busy open section with it being a sunday game we'll set the embargo towards the end before 10 30 on saturday evening somewhere to start please no. PLP, bbc pep good to see you um first of all if you wouldn't mind just giving an, an overview of team news and current injury injury news going into this one mm, the injuries uh harrison is much much better uh, Kyle and John uh, out. How big of a miss will they be for such an important game? It's what it is. Football is quite incredible. Everybody in this room will have unbelievable highs, likewise incredible lows at times. I wondered what emotions games like this make you feel at this time of the season, this level of fixture. What emotions come to you? Good to be here. The season has been really good, winning two titles and after what happened last season, being in contention for the three important titles or titles of the season and last now, start where is important because we make an incredible work before of that. Uh, last 10 games in the Premier League, now start the, you know, the important thing against the leaders of the Premier League of this season at home with our people and I'm pretty sure they will give us what we need to perform our best. Does this fixture feel like there's more importance to it? Like I say, given the stage of the season, given the difference between the two sides and how tight it really no, is every, at the top? Right now, every game is so important. And if we are able to do it, uh, so next game will be important as well. Hi Pep, talking about big games and big players, obviously we saw Kevin De Bruyne back on the training pitch uh, this week. Um, thinking back to last season, he was integral, particularly in these matches against Arsenal away and then and then at home. Um, sometimes gets called the nickname <coughs> Big Game Kev because he raises his game for these huge moments. I just wonder how integral is he to this kind of moment? And do you notice any changes in him around games like this to have an extra magnitude to them? Kevin is really so important player. It have been a tough season for him due to the injuries and have an asset back. I've been out for a long. He turned really well yesterday, so we will see what they're going to do next days. When you look at his performances, again, we'll talk about the Arsenal games last season, is that the benchmark for all young players to kind of follow? Players like Kevin raising the game, playing at that level in those fixtures? Especially the consistency. So Kevin is <laughs> playing so consistent for many, many years. This is the most important thing. And and uh, the important players, uh, the important games, we need important players, of course. But this is a question of team, for the balance of the team. And, and everyone has to make a contribution. So I, we will not put all the responsibility on Kevin and other players. We have to do it all together with our people, of course. Hi, Pep. Uh, I want to ask you a question about uh, Arsenal's captain, Martin Odegaard. You have uh, talked about him before, that uh, the time he visited you in Bayern, and after that there were some years that uh, it didn't really look like he would get the breakthrough that everyone was waiting for, but now he's the captain for Mikel, obviously, in, in Arsenal. And what do you think about the development that he's had? No, we were not together in Bayern. He made, I think, one or two training sessions. That has not been together, but... Uh, Still, what do you think, think about the development he's had since that time? Incredible, well. So, the best season I played, and I think he helped a lot. He's passed to Real Sociedad, that they play a lot of confident enough to make this a step alone <laughs> and buy it. And in Arsenal, enough to, if became a captain and play regularly, consistent every single day, that's because I become a, a real, really important player. Hmm. There's also been some criticism for different Arsenal players off for not sporting related events like Martin got criticism for taking pictures with the club camera, Mikel got criticism for celebrating too much the victory against Liverpool. How do you react as a rival manager when you see that your rivals get criticism like this? I don't react for it. 
nonsense things. So, <laughs> if you want to take a picture, take a picture. What is the problem, honestly? Hi, Pep. Um, John Stones has, has had a couple of injury issues already this season. Were you uh, surprised at all that he was asked to play two international friendlies before such a big game against Arsenal? Any comments about that? And just in terms of, of Arsenal, what is the biggest change that you've seen in them from the game that you had at the Etihad at the end of last season to now, do you think? Same manager, new, <laughs> new players, uh, control many aspects of the game and every time was better and better. So it's normal. When you have a consistent in terms of ideas and managers in the same patterns at the end, at the end always you improve. When you change a lot of managers and players and after it's more difficult. So uh, I could not expect differently from the beginning of the start of the season. Hi, Pat. Obviously, you've not lost a game since December in the league. Um, how close to your peak do you think this team is at the moment? Or do you think there are more levels to go? We played really good the last month, but international break. And always the first game, not now, always always the first game at national break. You, you think, you know? Uh, what happened? But yesterday we trained good. We have two more training sessions, and we prepare the game and ready, ready for it again. Can I just ask a quick one about Akanji? Didn't seem like he trained yesterday. Is he? Is he going to be out as well? Yeah, it's, it's okay. He's okay. Yeah. Rich in the middle there, Sean. Yeah. Uh, hi, Pep. Um, when you come up against a player like Declan Rice, who you tried to sign last summer, I mean, is that something you think back on quite a lot, or is it quite easy to no. move on? Since I am here, many, many players we wanted, and they didn't decide to join us. So it's not the first one. I have a long list. Mm, but you Basically, don't. because we, we did you want to come at the end, or the prize, or whatever, it could not happen. So he took his decision, a good one, and good luck. And do you think that? The way he's performed for Arsenal has sort of shown why you wanted to sign him to begin with. I think all the prem teams in the Premier League would have signed Declan Rice. So he's an international captain for the national team from England, young player, uh, play with a lot of games, so regularly. So that's why Arsenal push in the way they they push. Thank you. I um, appreciate you probably don't want to answer on this, but um, you mentioned sort of the importance of being with our people for, for the Arsenal game. Um, do you think it's fair if the people are important to the club that the club are raising season ticket prices and making it harder for them to support you next season? The people will forget when we start the game, it will support us unconditionally. So the team is the team. About that, I'm not involved, so... I will respect absolutely all the opinions and everything. I know it's a sensitive issue, but I know tomorrow they will be with us. And conditionally, and club <coughs> will tell what I have to say, but it's, I cannot say more. Can you understand why the fans are upset absolutely. at the prices? Absolutely. Well, hi, Pep. Do you know how long Kyle and John will be out for, roughly? No. Has it, the swelling got to go down for you to understand how, how bad their injuries are, basically? Uh, the Kyle, more tougher than John, but uh, will be out, I don't know how many games. In terms of Jack Grealish, is he, is he fully available now? Do you get a, a sense that he's sort of wanted to kind of prove himself again because he's had such a, a yeah, stop start? Absolutely, season. the season was not perfect for him and... But he still have to come the best. He turned really well. He came fit and yes, he turned really good. But a long time he still didn't play. But yeah, the decision we're going to take tomorrow, we'll see. Do we want to play? Do we want to defend? And But it's, yeah, to see the calendar that we have, we need, you know, when a fight in all conditions, you need all the players. Uh, unfortunately, it will not be possible in the next weeks. But uh, we have enough and the calendar is. It doesn't look like really, really good for us, but it's what it is, and we're going for it. Any more for the embargo? We're good.